Hey y'all, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Thank you so much for giving me a small portion of your day. So I'm going to be brutally honest, it is about 8.30 p.m. I've been trying to film this video pretty much all day, but uh, mom duty has just been a uh, like full day effort today. So anyway, even though it's not Thanksgiving, it's, you know, it's the end of August, beginning of September. So by I mean, it's like, I think the first of September when you guys are seeing this, but um, even though it's not Thanksgiving or anything, I still wanted to share with you guys 15 things that I am thankful for because my anxiety has been kind of spiraling a little bit out of control the last three weeks or so, and so this is something that I feel like helps keep me grounded in addition to prayer and script reading, reading the Bible and things like that. I feel like be taking stock of things that I'm thankful for really helps me to stay grounded. Where's my phone? I made a list, but... Um, I just wanted to share with you some 15 things I'm thankful for. Some of these are, are big things and some of them are really, really small. So, all right, why is my phone so dark? Weird. Okay, so number one, the first thing I'm thankful for is the hugs that I get from Liam every morning. So Liam is really cuddly. He's a super hugger and he, when you pick him up from a nap, when you wake him up in the morning, like when you get him out of bed, he just hugs your neck and it's, it's just the sweetest thing ever and I absolutely love it. So... And I also love our nursing sessions in the morning. That's the only time we nurse now. So um, it's really, really sweet. And that's something I'm really going to miss. But um, I really, really love that. And I look forward to it. Um, number two, I'm so thankful that Ben has a job that has allowed him to work from home pretty much this whole time and has been consistent because I know for so many people, my brother's an essential worker. So he, you know, my brother works for Walmart. So he's been going to work pretty much every day and, um, you know, getting exposed and all of that kind of thing. And so I'm just very thankful that Ben is able, has been able to stay home, but that he's also had a job this whole time since so many people I know, I mean, not even, not like I, people I know personally as well, but just as a general rule, so many people lost their jobs through this whole thing. So, um, number three, the third thing I'm thankful for is that God is God and I am not. Um, and this is something that I feel like, especially with my anxiety, I really have to remind myself of is that I don't have to handle it all on my own. Like, you know, I am redeemed by grace and that's as good as it gets. Um, I am not perfect. I make a lot of mistakes and I'm just so thankful that I can just give that. I'm, I'm crying. Wow. <laughs> that I can just give that to God and I don't, I don't have to try and carry it on my own because God is big. God is big. Uh, thing number four that I'm thankful for, I'm thankful that I can drink my coffee out of a funny or a pretty mug every morning. You guys know I have a fairly extensive mug collection and it just, it's my little, it's one of my little like slices of happy is that I go to my china cabinet and I pick which mug I'm going to use for the morning. And I was going to originally like be drinking tea out of a cute mug, but it's a bajillion degrees. I'm sitting behind, I'm sitting in front of two photography lights, like it's hot in here. So I have my watermelon LaCroix that I started drinking with dinner and didn't have time to finish. So, um, but yeah, it's something just really, really small, but that makes, just helps me set my day off on a good note, start my day off on a good note. Um, no, the fifth thing I'm thankful for is the ability to generate content. Like YouTube is a hobby for me. I don't do this, you know, I mean, would I love to do sponsored content at some point? Would I like to get to that point? Sure. But I also just enjoy this. And I also think that at some level I put too much pressure on myself for this just being a hobby. And so like, um, the day that I'm filming this, I actually posted on Instagram yesterday that I was not going to be uploading a video today because I've had, a, I, I thought I might have COVID. I don't. Um, I just had a stomach bug, but I was so sick when starting around Wednesday afternoon through even like early this morning. And I actually praise the Lord. I feel like a hundred percent. I feel totally fine now. I slept almost 10 hours last night. So I think that that's part of it, but, um, I'm just so thankful that I can do this because I really enjoy it. Like editing is so much fun for me. Some people I know absolutely hate that part, but I love that part. So just the ability to generate content is something I'm very thankful for. Okay, number six. Uh, I'm so thankful that Ben s currently supports and has always supported my desire to be a stay-at-home mom. I've wanted to be a wife and mom my whole life. And so it's just 
such a huge blessing to be married to someone that not only supports that but also wanted that for me and um, I am just so thankful that he supports us so I can stay home and just be Liam's mom and his wife and I love that okay uh, number seven, the that I'm th thing, the seventh thing I'm thankful for is that I can like actually function in the kitchen. Like I am so thankful that my mom taught me a lot of just not not specific recipes, but a lot of skills in the kitchen before I left home. Because I feel like I can make pretty much anything that I you know that I want to. For some reason, making a cake a bun a cake out of a bunt pan, I can never make it come out of the bunt pan pretty. But for the most part, you know, if I if I need to make something, I can do it. I'm just thankful that I have the ability to do that and that I can make so many things like from memory. Like I don't need to look at a recipe to make Alfredo. I don't need to look at a recipe to make um I don't know, that's the only thing I can come up with off the top of my head, but a lot of the things that I make, I don't need a recipe for, so um, I just, I'm very thankful for that. All right, uh, the eighth thing I'm thankful for is appliances with timers. Uh, like I said, I have just finished recovering from a stomach bug, and last night um, I needed to run diapers because Liam has been teething, and I think he also, Liam is teething because his top teeth have broken through, but he's still working on them. And I think he I actually think I got this stomach thing from him because he's had some really messy diapers in the last week. And so we've been going through diapers and covers like absolutely in copious amounts, and so I had to do laundry last night, but I also wanted to take a bath because I wasn't feeling well, and we needed dishes because we were out of bowls and we were out of spoons and all of this stuff, and so... It was just such a huge blessing to be able to take my bath and, you know, use the hot water for me and then start the diapers and then put the dishwasher on a timer to come on four hours later after the hot water heater had had time to replenish. And that's just, it's such a small thing, but it's something I'm so thankful for right now. Also, if you hear Liam's white noise, I'm sorry, the baby monitor's right behind the camera. All right, the ninth the ninth thing that I'm thankful for is that I have the privilege to be able to watch Liam learn and grow. Like, watching him learn things is just so fun. Like, right now, he's liking, he really likes to open and close things. Like, he has a set of Duplos that has a window, and he'll open the window and put the blocks through the window. And just watching how his brain learns that is just so cool. And, like, being able to literally look at him and be like, you didn't look like that yesterday. It's just a huge gift to be able to do that. The tenth thing I'm thankful for is that I'm able to participate in children's ministry stuff at our church again. I've really missed that um, because when we moved, it just got, you know, we live 45 minutes from our church. So it's you know, much more difficult for me to get over there to teach Sunday school or anything like that. So I haven't, I did vacation Bible school this year and last year too, but that was basically the only children's ministry thing I've been able to do recently. And so, um, but our Wednesday night program, because of, uh, the pandemic, we're doing it online at least through December, so I'm able to do music for that. And I'm really thankful that I can be involved and see these kids, because some of these kids I've literally known since before they were born. So it's really neat to be able to do that again. And it and church is something that I've really been missing because we haven't gone back to church yet. Our church is having services, but our church is also doing things online, so that's what we've been doing. And I've just really missed the community of being in church and like actually going to church and so being able to do that has just been really really cool. Um, the 11th thing I'm thankful for is that Liam sleeps through the night and that he sleeps by himself. Uh, sleep training was rough. Um, he co-slept with us for the first six months and that was not the plan. I never planned on him actually sleeping in bed with us but because of my postpartum preeclampsia it was hard to establish good patterns and all of that. So he ended up sleeping with us and getting him out of our bed was so difficult. But um, I'm just so thankful that now, you know, I put him down. Now he still cries to sleep anytime he takes a nap pretty much, anytime he goes to bed. Um, I just live with the hope that eventually he'll go to sleep without crying. He might be, you know, 16. <laughs> but um, that we can put him down and that he'll generally sleep through the night and even if he wakes up in the night he just fusses for a couple of minutes and goes back to sleep. I'm just so thankful that we're at that point. The twelfth thing I'm thankful for is that Ben takes a lot of pictures. Sometimes it's annoying because I feel like he doesn't live in the moment because he wants to take pictures but at the same time I'm so thankful that he does because he catches candid moments and so many memories of things we're not going to be able to see again if that, you know, you live them once, right? 
and just many moments with Liam and watching him grow and him doing the silly things that he's doing now, like climbing in the cabinets and those kinds of things. And so I'm just so thankful that Ben takes so many pictures because we're going to have so many memories that we're going to actually be able to look back on that we might not otherwise if he didn't take so many pictures. The 13th thing I'm thankful for is bright lipstick. So um, y'all know I'm a fan of lip color and it's funny because five, six years ago I never wore lipstick ever and now I wear lipstick. Like if I'm going to wear something, except now I'm wearing a mask, but pre-COVID, if there was one thing I wasn't going to miss, it was going to be my lipstick. Like, I would have lipstick on. And it just elevates my mood. It makes me happier. Like, I love this lip color. It's my favorite. Um, I can't link it because they've discontinued it. It's the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip in Vitamin Beat, which I love this color and I'm sad. Um, I do think that the Maybelline uh, Superstay Matte Inks, there's a very similar color, so I think I'm going to be okay. But just that wearing a bright lip color makes me feel confident and happy and so I'm just you know I'm very thankful for bright lipstick it's something so small and, inconse and inconsequential but you know it's something I'm thankful for the 14th thing I'm thankful for is grocery pickup you know it's such a huge blessing to me as a mom with an infant even before COVID like being able to just go to Walmart and get my groceries and not have to get Liam out of the car, like, especially, like, in the throes of cold and flu season when he was still really little and I didn't, you know, or when my blood pressure was wacky and I really wasn't supposed to be going, I wasn't supposed to be carrying that much or pushing a cart. I could just order my groceries and I drove to the store and they loaded them in my car. And I'm just so thankful that that service exists because it's made my life so much easier and I also know like for my mom my mom has MS and so the hot weather is just not good for her at all and so having grocery pickup is also a great option for her so I'm just thankful for grocery pickup and the last thing I'm thankful for is my daily LaCroix I have a LaCroix every day it's my vice which I mean I feel like if this is my vice that I'm doing I'm not doing too bad but it's just my little bit of of you know my little pleasure at the end of the day every day and it's something small but it also just helps make my day better so I know that this list was kind of all over the place but I just wanted to share with you guys 15 things that I'm thankful for and if you are struggling with anxiety know like you are not alone especially with everything that's going on right now but I would highly recommend doing something like this I'm not in therapy or anything like that if you need therapy to feel better if you need medication to feel better whatever that's fine like don't feel like you were less of a person or that you're a failure or whatever like mental health is you know something that needs to be taken seriously uh, for me personally I am doing my best to manage it on my own and for the most part I do it's just sometimes my anxiety gets ahead of me especially like with my hormones and things like that so um, just know you're not alone and you you know do what's healthy for you you know don't drink a lot don't do drugs don't you know but if you need med prescription medication or if you need therapy or you know to go to just talk to someone do it by all means but this is something for me that I've just found super helpful with managing my anxiety so uh, if you aren't already follow me on Instagram I'll put my handle on the screen I'm trying to be a lot more active over there and uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and uh, please comment like one thing that you're thankful for down below. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.